All right, my hat is on backwards. That must mean I am serious. I am doing a quick walkthrough of the amp sim that comes with the Heritage Audio i73. You can see it up on the screen. I have my Strat Plug DI. I am currently on the neck position, and this is the default sound. Here is the middle position. And here is the Ned bridge position. <laughs> I already did the neck. Okay, so first thing you have, power button. Turn it off. DI signal. Turn it on. That is the amp sim. First option you have are the is the cab. This is the one eighth. You can go to a two twelve. Then you have a 412. I like the 212 quite a bit, so we'll stick with that. Then you have your volume. That's the only actual dial you have here. And you can get pretty fuzzy with this. Kind of fuzzy and breaking up. Then you can select the input you want. Let's hear the difference between those. I'll go back to bridge. Let's roll back the volume a bit. Input one. So input one seems quite a bit more gainy, a lot more distortion going on there. We'll stick with the fuzziness. Those are actually all the settings that you have available to you, volume, input, and cab. But then you get to the fun stuff, the microphones on the cab. So you can go between a 251 on the left, an R121, a 47 FET, Let's actually hear these. Okay, we'll go ahead 100% to this side, 251. Then on the right hand side, you have all the same microphones except for this one. I don't know what mic this is actually emulating, but here is how it sounds. Probably some kind of electro voice. I think maybe like an electro voice 635, but the head looks a bit different. And then you have the ability to mix between them. So we'll go ahead and just... So that is the actual amp sim for guitar that comes with it. And I used that for the test song and my full review in case you want to hear it. And I'll include it, the full mix. And I don't know what this means. I don't know what I did. I touched the mixer. Restart the mixer? No, I don't want to. Okay, that's it for this video. Bye.